M156 build on budget. Today it's Wednesday, August 9th, 2023. What I have done till now, I finished from the piece and connecting rods. That done. Wrapped, waiting for the connecting rod bearings. Hey, then I ordered the oil thermostat. I ordered a new one. The old one, it's not expanding. Um, if I, if they bring it to me back the old one, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna make a test. I polish the crank rear seal place here on the crank. It was not polished. I prepare one intake manifold. It's tired, but it will gonna run. It's fine. I paint it also. All right. I block the paths down here. Same thing here. Imagine to put it on. And then start peeing one insector inside and hydrolog the engine. Eh? Yay! <laughs> Lovely. That, that's the, one of the reasons, if you see on the previous videos, when I'm making the first start of the engine, I'm saying do not plug the battery until it comes the time to crank it. This for two reasons. I, I'm sure that I have mentioned that before. One reason is I don't want to fill up the rail and I want to have a long cranking to be able to suck some oil in the pump and start making building up pressure. So don't delay. I don't want to start direct the engine. Second thing is, if let us say you have a problem with any injector and it's stuck open, and you connect the battery and you make ignition on, the injector will gonna pee inside the cylinder. It depends where you're gonna locate the piston. When you crank it, you might hydrolog it. <laughs> we don't want that. So it's an extra uh, safety. It's my checklist, like I'm saying all the time, to build up an oil pressure to start sucking some oil the pump and to don't hydrolog any cylinder. So, ah, yes, yes, then, crank main bearings, connect no bearings, and the rest of the gasket seals. I asked at the office, do we have crank main bearings and connect no bearings, to, at least to, to build the short block, you know, down? They said to me, yes, we have. I said, okay, beautiful. And it came the time that I need the crank main bearings to get the clearance. And when I asked for the crank main bearings, they said, no, we don't have. And the place in order, the crank main bearings and the connector bearings are coming next week. And I hope that we have the rest of the parts. We'll gonna see. We'll gonna see. Some some things like let us say this bolt. Obviously, this bolt is a used one. It's not a new one. I have it as a reference here, because if if I ask them for the bolt and they tell me give me a sample, so I have a sample. I'll gonna give to them. This is a left hand thread bolt. The head bolts already bring it to me. This is the gear for the crankshaft down. And I need also the centrifugal that goes here for the ventilation. This is to run smooth and to don't produce any sound that I'm insane. Okay, this I'm gonna use it a new one. Same thing also, like I said, on the, the uh, main gear. The timing chain is gonna be used, it's gonna be nice polished used timing chain. It's a double timing chain that on the M56 it doesn't fail. Guides, I'm gonna see what kind of guides I have. I have some used guides So yeah with one hand later later. I have some used guides. I'm gonna see the condition if it's burnt I'm gonna throw it down the floor if it doesn't break that means it's healthy if it, they broke I'm gonna put a new one <laughs> Scientific experiment test That's it small update for that It makes sense to wrap the crank since it's coming next week the bearings it makes sense to wrap again the engine and the crank. These are the welders once again. Yay, lovely. All right, that's it. Over and out. Let me wrap it, putting some parts behind the curtain. The timing cover, I already mentioned that I already tested it and it comes flush. That's a good one. Yeah, that's it. Putting the gear back in place. Intake manifold behind the curtain. Wrapping the block, wrapping the crank. Yep, the pistons are already fine also the bottom end i'm gonna wrap it yeah why not why to stay there that's it thank you